Salutations people of the internet, Matt here from Hydro Gaming, and welcome to episode 2 of our Let's Play of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Last episode, we got our first Pokemon, Kong, as you can see here. And in today's episode, we are going to catch up with Dawn just outside of Sand Gem Town. And we're going to learn how to catch our... Well, not our first Pokemon. We're going to learn how to catch all our other Pokemon following the first Pokemon. But before that, we should stop off at the Pokemon Center in the Mart and check those buildings out because we skipped that in the last episode. Oh, Matt. I'm forgetting something. What? Yes! Thank you, Mother. <laughs> yeah, we can rock that hat. Did always suit me well. Well, thanks, Ma. I'm, uh, going off on a whirlwind adventure now, and okay, bye. I'll call if I need money. That reminds me of when I went off to school myself. Alright, so Red Roof Buildings are Pokemon Centers where you can heal your Pokemon or you can access their personal computer storage system to withdraw and deposit Pokemon. Great for, um, well, storing Pokemon. Oh wow, look at all these wallpapers. These are really nice. I remember back in the day. Hey, I remember that wallpaper. Huh. I guess, apparently some of these are making returns from the, uh, the original, which is nice to see. And you can also get Professor Rowan to judge your Pokédex. Don't be afraid to go into tall grass. Alright, that's a, some good advice. And this is Nurse Joy, and she'll heal your Pokémon. Which we don't really need to do, but uh, just for the hell of it. I mean heck of it. <laughs> I love the surface reflections on the floors. Some of these characters look like the, uh, the Miis from the original Nintendo Wii, huh? I just think of Wii Bowling when I see these guys. <laughs> Alright, and let's see what they have for sale at the Pokemart. So the blue roof is the Pokemart, and here you can buy and sell items. You can sell items for Poke Dollars, or buy some stuff to help you in battle, catch Pokemon. Do we need Pokeballs? You know what? I'm going to buy 10 anyways. Always buy 10 because you get a free Premier Ball. So always buy Pokeballs in groups of 10. Some good advice. And we'll buy some Antidotes too for some upcoming stuff. You never know. And maybe some Paralyzed Heals. Probably don't need this many, but rather have them and not need them than need them and not have them. Alright, moving on. Thank you. Let's go learn how to catch some Pokemon, shall we? Route 202. Same fantastic music that we know and love. That was a really weird way to run up to me. I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. No, you haven't, but... It'd be great to have a nice little lesson. Of course it is. See, I know it's cliche, but I would like to have a Shinx on my team. We'll see. We'll see how things go. I'll probably speed this up in post so you guys don't have to sit through it. So, we'll see you later. Isn't it neat? It was pretty neat. Ah, uh, it's okay. We don't need to lower its HP anymore. That would have been way too long. Oh, I knew it. We didn't need to buy Pokeballs after all. Oh well. Alright, let's get a move on. We're heading for Jubilife City so we can bring Barry his parcel. Oh. Our first official Pokemon Trainer Battle of the game. So, if you haven't played Pokemon before, the way trainer battles work is 
when a trainer locks eyes with you, well, they can't help but battle you. It's the way of the Pokemon trainer. So now we have to battle him. And if we win, he gives us some money. If we lose, we give him money. Now, in the original Pokemon games in Generation 1, if you lost a battle, I think they took half of all your money, which is uh, quite a bit. I'm glad they don't do that anymore, as far as I know. Oh! Perfect. Okay, so... Great time to go over um, status effects. So, burning a Pokemon will cause them to lose a certain portion of their HP every turn, but in addition to that, it will also cut the value of their attack stat. So any physical attacks they try to hit you with will do much less damage than if they weren't burned. So that's great for us. I don't know if that did any less damage than the first hit, because, uh, well, in early game, Stats are so low that, uh, let's say he did one or two damage, can't go much lower than one or two damage. <laughs> but on that note, early game levels are so, so important just because of how big the stat differentials are, you know, between a level 5 Pokemon and a level 10 Pokemon. As you get higher up in level and progress through the game, stat differentials don't matter as much, but in these low levels, they are very, very important. You know, uh, the difference between level 9 and 10 can mean the difference between victory and defeat in these early battles. Not that you should be having too much trouble with them anyways, but... Alright, moving on. I wonder if I should give Chugga Conroy style uh, Pokemon bios. I think that'd be too derivative. I wouldn't want to steal too much from his videos. And our second trainer battle. What was that? It went, like, white and black for a second there. Um, I'm thinking I should have downloaded that patch. I, you know, I was so excited, I just threw the cartridge in and started playing. So we're playing on version 1.0 right now. I think I'll have to update to version 1.1 anyways if I want to play the endgame content. Um, because for whatever reason, I don't think it's included in version 1.0. So that's definitely something we're going to have to do. <laughs> Look at those frame rate drops. Maybe uh, when we download the update, we'll get some boost to our stability as well, which would be kind of nice. But for now, we're not connecting to the Wi-Fi because I do not want to miss any bit of this game. Waiting for a download. No thank you. I'm not sure how many Pokemon she has, but if she's got more than one, I'll, uh, I'll speed this up and post for you guys. Yeah. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. We got 348 Poke Dollars for winning. That's perfect. We need to start building our empire the ultimate goal of world domination. And to do that, we're gonna need lots and lots of cash. Okay, hopefully it is a male Shinx with Intimidate. Yes, okay. Because it has the ability Intimidate, which cuts the opponent's attack stat upon entering into battle, this is the Shinx we're looking for, and this will be the second addition to our team, whose final evolution is Luxray, a Pokemon I very much... What's the word? I will just say love. I love Luxray. It's fantastic. So we'll try to get his health down without killing him. <sighs> Oof. What is this? Okay, we, uh, we definitely need to download that patch. This is not looking good at all. <laughs> Okay, first things first, just in case, I think I want to heal up Kong, just in case Shinx gets a uh, critical hit on us. That's not something we need right now. That is not a glitch I had seen. In the comments below, if uh, any of you have gotten your copy of this game yet, let me know if you've seen this glitch. And if the, uh, if the patch fixes it. <laughs> 
We'll go for the Pokeball. This is so weird. Nice. Okay, we might cut in post because I don't have a nickname for this little guy yet, so I'll be back when I think of something. Okay, and we're back. So, growing up, one of my favorite games was Fallout New Vegas, and in Fallout New Vegas was the Ultra Lux Casino. I had a lot of fun there, um, <laughs> beating people up with a golf club. And because Shinx eventually evolves into Luxray, I thought of no better name than Lux. So we have Kong and Lux in our party. Welcome to the crew. Hopefully uh, we don't have any more graphical problems like that. That was really uh, off-putting. All right, we are going to use Lux in his debut battle. Hopefully things go well. <laughs> Let's check his nature. He is a lax nature. Lowered special defense, increased defense. Eh. I wasn't really too concerned about those two stats, so. Nothing super special, I was hoping for increased attack because as far as I remember, the final evolution in this chain, Luxray, ends up being a physical attacker, so increased physical attack would have been nice, but what can you do? Alright, let's see how he does in his first battle. Challenged by Youngster Logan. Uh oh. <laughs> if this goes on for a while, I may speed this up and post for you guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh dear. I forgot this guy had a shinx. Can you hear me mashing the A button? And his is a higher level. Looks like he has the same idea. Whoa. I really need to download that patch. <laughs> Alright, we'll go for a tackle this time. And again, he has the exact same idea we did. Oof. And once again, he has the exact same idea. We're gonna speed this battle up in post, folks. We'll, uh, we'll see you soon. I'm a little worried. It looks like he's setting up for a big attack. Maybe we'll swap into Kong here just in case. Lighting seems to have fixed itself though, that's nice. Okay, introducing our next status effect is Paralysis. So Paralysis, in addition to giving you a chance to miss your turn completely, um, it also cuts your speed value. So being these low levels with the, uh, the stat differential being so significant, Shinx may actually be faster than us now that we're paralyzed, so let's see. He is! Oh my goodness, look at that lighting. I'm thinking for episode 3 I'm going to download that patch. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. 
So I guess technically Lux did win his debut battle, but with a little bit of help from our uh, our trusty starter. You know what? I'm going to use this just in case. I probably don't need to, but... And we may as well fill up Lux's health, too. Let's see what this item is here. Potion. Perfect. Now I don't feel bad about using up that other one. Oh, I thought maybe this guy would battle us. Oh. Hey, Dawn. How you doing? I thought she was holding a thermos. That's her purse. <laughs> All right, we'll visit the trainer school. Jubilife City, the city of joy. Pokemon are such wonderful, deep characters. So this is our first city in the game. There's a lot of interesting stuff to explore around here. We've got the Pokemon school. There is the, I think it's called the Poketch Company, where we get our rusty, trusty Poke Gear. Is it called the Poke Gear in this game, or is it the Poketch? It's got a dousing machine on it, that's the important part. Oh, trading. We'll, uh, we'll get to that later. I'll explain trading when we get to our first in-game trade. Do you know much about Pokemon? I, I think so. Well, we'll go check out the trainer school anyways, because... Oh yeah, this used to be the Global Trade Center. What is this now? The GWS. What's the GWS? Is it like the GSL? The Gabriel Susan Lewis? Well, so back in the day, this was the Global Trade Center, and you could link up with people all over the world and trade Pokemon with them. Um... Unfortunately, the Nintendo Live service for the DS games is long discontinued, which, you know, it was a very sad day when that happened. But I think right now they have spoof servers where you can still trade with people online. Uh, but I think it's pretty much flooded with just hacked Pokemon with, you know, trades that obviously can't be done. Like a level 1 Charizard, like, stuff like that. Stuff you'd need to hack into the game, so... And if you have that, well, there's no point in trading with people anyways. Well, here's Barry. What's this guy up to? Oh, yep, so, again, if you're new to Pokemon, there are things called type effectiveness, or a thing called type effectiveness that's basically the foundation of Pokemon battles, and it's kind of like rock, paper, scissors, where grass is weak to fire, fire is weak to water, and water is weak to grass. Those are your three base types, but there are countless other types I think around 20 other types I don't know the exact number but uh, each ones have their own different effectiveness levels uh, against different types so as you play the game obviously you'll learn what's effective against what sure let's have a battle hopefully Lux does well here and hopefully they don't have their own Shinx Abra Hopefully doesn't know anything decent. So Abra has a relatively low physical defense and a higher special defense, I believe. So we're going to go with Tackle, even though Thundershock is our stab move. I think we're going to set up with a Leer first. Oh, it has an attacking move. What is going on? We can see the models outside every time they use a move. That's so weird. That is so weird. That's definitely something we'll have to patch. <laughs> We're gonna go with, oops. That was a misclick. I meant to go with tackle. Well, maybe we'll speed this up in post for you guys so you don't have to sit through my, uh, my misclicks here. <laughs>
Oh, so charge beam sometimes will raise your opponent's special attack stats. So that's not good because he's going to be doing a lot more damage with that attack now. And I'm thinking it might be a good idea to switch into Kong because even if we heal up Lux, that charge beam is going to do a lot more damage to us now. Uh-oh, this is not good. <laughs> we have to end this. Uh-oh. Not ideal. Boy, am I glad this isn't a Nuzlocke, because I think we're going to lose our first battle, people. I don't think there's any point in going for the potion, because he's faster than us. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> this has given me a lot to think about. Watch out for the Abra in the trainer school, people. I am overwhelmed by my defeat. Boy, am I glad this is not a Nuzlocke. <laughs> because this would have been over before it even began. And with that unfortunate defeat behind us and the fitting music playing. Yeah, yeah, shake your head. No, that's great. Hey, you lost just as much as I did, pal. Yeah, yeah, yawn all you want. Um, we're going to end it off here. In the next episode, we'll continue exploring Jubilife City. We'll give that battle with the Abra a second try. Maybe we'll start off using uh, Kong. Because we haven't been having much luck with Lux. And we'll go deliver the parcel to Barry and see what mysterious item lives inside. Alright, thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time.